Whether you enjoy watching monkeys swing along tree branches at the zoo or have fond memories of playing on the monkey bars as a child, I bet you were too captivated to consider the specific regions of the upper limb that help accomplish the motion in these activities. You might be thinking, well, everyone knows the parts of their arms. After all, we use them every day. However, the regions of the upper limb might not look as obvious as you'd think, and understanding them, their descriptive terminology, and the contents of each region is crucial to recognise and communicate the location of structures, injuries, or pathologies. So hold on tight as we take a closer look at the main regions of the upper limb. During this tutorial, we're going to review the main anatomical regions of the upper limb, or extremity. We will take a look at the important terms related to the shoulder, the arm, the elbow, the forearm, and the hand. As we go through, we will take a deeper look at the subdivisions, main contents, and boundaries of these regions. Before we dive in, let's take a step back to establish a clear understanding of the regional anatomy within the upper limb. So, what exactly is meant by the term regions in this context? Well, the upper limb is divided into different areas or regions that are assigned based on the positioning or the function of the underlying structures. Smaller regions often correspond to and are named after a specific structure, such as the deltoid region being named after the deltoid muscle. Whereas larger regions, like the entire shoulder, and more complex regions like the hand, are further organised into subdivisions. With this knowledge, we are ready to explore precisely how regions are assigned in the upper limb. Throughout its entirety, the upper limb is divided into anterior and posterior aspects based on the anatomical position. Furthermore, the arm, forearm and hand are separated into anterior and posterior compartments by intervening fascia and a connective tissue intermuscular septum. So, are you ready to strengthen your knowledge of the upper limb? Great! Without further ado, let's get started with the shoulder region. The shoulder is the most proximal region of the upper limb. Situated between the chest and the upper arm, the shoulder is bordered medially by the pectoral muscles of the chest, superiorly by the clavicle, posteriorly by the scapula, and inferiorly by the upper arm. The bony articulation of the humerus and the scapula forms one of the main contents of the shoulder, the glenohumeral or shoulder joint. The shoulder also contains two important subdivisions, the deltoid region and the axillary region. This video is not over yet. Continue watching now the full video at kenhub.com. We have lots more videos like this one available to our premium members on our website, not to mention all the fun quizzes, related articles, and atlas sections. So click on the button in the middle to watch the full-length video and master anatomy.